another broken plate another called off date we never seem to get it right another heart attack words that we can't take back we are the reason opposites attract once you slam the door on the second hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is sarah and i post weekly what's for dinner videos and random recipes in between if you're into that sort of thing don't forget to like this video subscribe leave me a comment down below of which one of these was your favorite and per usual all of my recipes will be linked down below with exact measurements now let's get started First, I'm going to make a creamy tortellini and veggies. I have some oil in my Dutch oven and I am tossing in two diced up sweet potatoes. And you can use fresh rosemary, but I didn't have any on hand, so I just put, sprinkled a bunch of ground or dry rosemary in there. Some kosher salt and pepper. And then just mix that up a little bit and you're going to put the lid on it until they're just barely softened. You've been in bed for days, empty without me, you say. Can't you just magically turn up the mic? Then you knock on my door on the second floor, and I feel okay. And then you're gonna just gently kind of move them around. You're gonna obviously try to scrape all those brown bits off when you put in your broth, but try not to break them apart as long as you see me here testing it. But you just want them a little bit soft. And now I am throwing in two cups of chicken broth. At this point is when you're really going to try to scrape those brown bits off because it will get, give it a lot of good flavor. And now you're going to throw in about six ounces of baby spinach, just about a handful at a time, and just kind of stir it until it starts to wilt. Toss some more in. Repeat until you are done. I think it was about maybe three or four handfuls, something like that. But somehow it feels right. We never get it right, but it still feels right. We never get it right, but somehow it feels right. That's how I feel about you. And now you're going to pour in a cup of heavy whipping cream. I threw in some Parmesan just because I had a little bit left in a bag I needed to use and I figured it sounded pretty good. And then you're going to throw in your bag of frozen tortellini. Give everything a good mix. Cover it and cook it about 10-15 minutes just until the tortellini are all cooked through. And it's already, I recommend letting it sit just a little bit so it soaks up that juice. We got a little bit excited and everybody was hungry, but I really love the rosemary in this. It really pops. And also, I ended up adding here a little bit more salt when I tasted it. I thought it needed it, but other than that, it was perfect. Once you slam the door on the second floor, I regret it all. When I think it through, I can help the way I feel for you. Mm -hmm. You make me lose my mind like all the time. It still feels right. And now I'm going to make some refried beans in my Instant Pot and some grilled bean burritos out of it you're going to throw in two cups of rinsed pinto beans and two cup or sorry four cups of water don't be like me and put five i always just do this by memory and just throw stuff in there and i, I always i mean i've done this a handful of times put too much water but four cups not five because it's too runny and then I threw in some chicken bouillon too, so you can use chicken broth or whatever you want. A couple of bay leaves. I quartered an onion. You're going to blend it all together, so it doesn't really matter how you dice it or whatever. And then I'm going to throw in a tablespoon of chili powder, some onion powder, some cumin, and I'm going to cover it and cook it for one hour at high pressure and then a natural release of 25 minutes. And 
once it's all ready, I usually just throw a half a stick of butter in there, but I had six tablespoons and I was just being lazy and didn't want to cut it off, so I just threw it all in there. And don't forget to remove your bay leaves because I almost did. You're just going to use an immersion blender or a masher and mix everything up. And then you'll see I threw in a cornstarch slurry, which helped thicken them up just a little bit, but four cups would have been great. And now I am just shredding up some cheese for the burritos and you'll see me hand a piece of cheese to each one of my children. We love cheese in this house. And also that rice on the side I made, and that was my first time using that particular rice and it was so good and now I have my ninja foodie grill insert preheating to medium and I am just putting my burritos together I spooned a little bit of refried beans in there with some cheese and taco sauce and wrapping them up I am doing them in two batches of four so I made eight total and then I put them in the foodie the grill for three and a half minutes yeah, three and a half minutes and they were perfectly done just make sure they are completely wrapped one of them i didn't have all the, like the same side completely down and you will see that it opened up a little bit but i learned from it and they were so good i didn't know how this was going to be but it was just something i figured usually we just do tortillas you know throw some beans and cheese warm it up in the microwave or something i don't know but i wanted to try something new and they were amazing Another broken plate, another called off date. We never seem to get it right. Another heart attack, words that we can't take back. We are the reason opposites attract. Once you slam the door on the second floor, I regret it all. When I think it through, I can help the way I feel for you. Make me love I love how it left the grill marks and everything and it just like really sealed it up perfectly and any longer it might have been too crispy three well you'll see I started at 10 minutes so three minutes and 20 seconds is what I did and they turned out awesome the phone hoping you'll answer yours baby let's talk until we're fine you've been in bed for days empty without me you say can't you just magically turn up in my then you knock on my door now i'm gonna make a beef stroganoff casserole and i'm gonna start by dicing up an onion you just made And next I'm gonna add a pound of ground beef to my Dutch oven and just cook it all the way through. And then once your water has come to a bowl, you're gonna pour in, I poured in almost the whole bag of egg noodles. It called for like half, but I knew that wasn't gonna be enough. And then once your meat is all ready, you're gonna just scoop it out. It's said to cook the onions in the grease. I think it was a little bit too much. I would have, next time, in hindsight, I should have poured out like half of it. It was almost a little bit too much. So keep that in mind, depending on what kind of ground beef you are using. Next, you're gonna put in your onions, and then once they've cooked for a few minutes, you're gonna throw in a little bit of minced garlic and just cook them up until they are translucent. We can take back, we are the reason opposites attract. Once you slam the door on the second floor, I regret it all. When I think it through, I can help the way I feel for you. Next, you're gonna throw in your butter and your flour and mix that all up really well and pour in half of your 
beef broth. Stir that up a little bit. I said use a fork. I'm just using it very lightly. I'm not trying to scrape anything up, but or scrape my Dutch oven up. And like I said, you're gonna pour in half of your beef broth, stir that a little bit, and then you're gonna pour in your other half. Cover this and let it cook for about five minutes. I think it could have been a little bit thicker. I don't know if I just maybe didn't cook it long enough or maybe it was because the excessive amount of grease that was in it. But next time I would probably add some cornstarch at this point and let it thicken up a little bit more because the flavor was amazing. I just think that would have made it a little bit better. And also I added some seasoned salt to this as well. The recipe didn't call for it, but I thought it sounded good. And oh, well, I guess before you cover it, you need to put in your Dijon mustard and sour cream and also half of your cheese. Goodness, I'm all over the place with this one, but here you go. Now you're gonna stir it up and then you're gonna cover it and let it thicken up a little bit. But like I said, it could have been a little bit thicker. And once it is all ready, you're gonna just pour in your ground beef all of your egg noodles, stir it up really well, pour it into a casserole dish, cover it or sprinkle, top it, whatever, with the rest of your cheese. And then you're gonna throw it in a 350 oven for mm, I think it about 15 minutes. You're really just waiting on the cheese to melt and all that good stuff. But then it is ready. But somehow it feels right We never get it right But it still feels right Once I poured it into the casserole dish As you can see I also kind of tried to like Move the ground beef around So everybody got a little bit Because it all kind of dumped in the top As you can see But this was really really good Everybody liked it I definitely want to make this one again But like I said I would make the sauce a little bit thicker I think that was the only thing I would change about this one and thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. And I will see y'all next week.